Not just COVID infections, hospitals across the country are also seeing a spike in respiratory illnesses and flu cases. You've heard of this, we're calling it the triple demic. And that triple demic is the reason some area hospitals say their emergency rooms are busier. Some people are trying to turn to freestanding ERs instead. KXN's Grace Reader explains how those work and why some patients may not be able to rely on them moving forward. It's a bad way to spend a holiday, experiencing a medical issue and not having access to your doctors. That happened this Thanksgiving to Jacqueline Martin. I just woke up and I, I could hardly breathe. My heart was uh, just beating at a tremendous rate. Unable to get in touch with her cardiologist, Martin was forced to go to the ER, but she was worried about how busy it would be. I also knew that the local hospital was uh, really full with people with the flu, COVID, and that RSV virus. Yes, we're seeing a lot of flu right now. We're seeing a lot of illnesses, uh, seemingly more than usual for this time of year. That's why Martin started looking at freestanding emergency rooms, which just means they're not attached to a hospital. The freestanding emergency departments, as a general rule, are not as busy and you don't have as long a wait time. Martin said her husband had previously been turned away from this one because the couple has Medicare. But during the pandemic, that changed. Freestanding emergency centers like this one have access to Medicare reimbursement because of our public health emergency. But when the public health emergency ends, the care goes away. When it's like a subset of the population is just peeled out, you know, particularly somebody's parent or grandparent, and, 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 you, and you try to explain that that their insurance doesn't apply, right? But it's not your fault. You want to be certified, but you haven't, you know, that just, it, it just doesn't, it just, I don't know. It's it's not the right thing, I think, for the for the community. Congress is working on that. It's also on the radar of some Texas lawmakers. The freestanding locations can often be in more remote places, and data from the pandemic shows freestanding ERs cost Medicare programs roughly 20% less in lower emergency care payments. I would make an argument that it's just a more focused level of care that we're able to provide. The former Texas Medical Association president and an ER doc says cost is pretty equal regardless of whether you have Medicare or another insurance. Maybe a little less than a hospital emergency department, but they could well be the same. Grace Reader, KXAN News.